wet and greasy conditions. Shane Merritt just offloading it over on that far side to Ryan Harkin. Plays low inside to Clydermen. Clyder with each other inside there and it gives a chance to Kieran O'Sullivan to compose himself. Pops the ball inside in towards Ryan Harkin. Offloading it inside in towards Darren Moyne and looking for his opening score of the 2021 Championship and he does that successfully. And it'll be interesting to see how Conor Flanagan manages this because these free kicks are going to be crucial throughout the day. So Conor Flanagan scoring two points in their own one victory. One free, well he's going to double his tally in the 2021 Championship, he's like, well, he's going to go long, Connor indeed, Kevin Doyle sending it real long, well, great catch inside there by Colin Kelly, great start to the game for the Clyde Rovers, Connor forward sends it on to the steamrolling David Walsh over that far side, shot going in here, is this a score going in from Christopher Buckley, it is, and Clyde Rovers take the lead. Both sides would have been playing hurling in the meantime, Man have had two games in the scenery, hurling championship in the last two weeks as well. Because this kick's been taken in by Sheehan and he's converted that score and we're level game coming to the end of the 15th minute. The Cloud Rovers number 10, Fiona O'Shea is oh great measure off there by Shawnee McDonald and he's gone inside. Potty Kassan is going to face him up. McDonald going for a shot and goal off the back of Potty Kassan. It's gone over the bar. So the Cloud Rovers corner forward who scored five frees in the round one victory over Bantry Blues. This is going a long way in. What a score from Owen Walsh. Mahi Taylor making a run through the centre of the park, offloading to Ryan Harkin, walk his way inside the 45 metre line, Harkin breaking through two tackles, steady himself with composure, and the Mallow midfielder with a beautiful score. From Harkin, as the kicker with the air, the poor kick goes, gone straight to the hand of Kieran O'Sullivan, goal opportunity on, if he goes further, he went to bounce the ball in great conditions, still goes for a shot, and he buries it to the back of the net. Uh, the counter-attack is, is, is serious. Yeah, that's a point from Owen Welsh. And the game now reduced down to three points. Long ball in for Harkin. First time looking for Shawnee McDonald, who's already got a point to his name. Looking to try and get a second score. Turning it inside the post. A great score inside 20 seconds. Oh dear, that's oh poor. Man. There's a man that got a lob going in here. Shot going in. Oh, tried right and wide. The substitute, Sean Hayes. And a chance for Hayes, he's got a 15 second time limit to take this, and that's a superbly score, scoop that ball, pops the ball back outside to Ryan Harkin, has time and space to take a free shot, going in, and it goes over the bar, and Harkin now, sending it out to a 6 point lead, not the greatest of the balls, but it's going to work out okay from a matter point of view, with Shawnee Hayes inside there, from the 13 metre line, at an acute angle, going in, over the bar she goes, and that is... Blood substitution. He's a, blood. he's a bit like the fellow uh, Joshua last night. <laughs> well, he's showing make, a few marks. I tell you, you can, you can face Joshua any day of the week. I wouldn't be taking him on anyways. Uh. Mala looking to try and tack on another score. Kieran O'Sullivan playing a long ball inside to Peter Atridge, who's been really good when he thinks he's come on. That is a brilliant score. There's a late boot in there as the Mala man was picking up the ball and a chance for Cormac or for uh, Pat O'Hennessy's after coming down for one Stanton is that blood substitute by the looks of it. As Peter Atheridge now with possession in the centre of the park, offloading to Matty Taylor. There's runs being made forward. And Matty Taylor, well, he's got a real solo run here from 40 yards, goes for the score.